We made it. We actually freaking made it. Jesse, I'm worried about Gabriel. If he was inside the Wither Storm, he could have Wither Sickness, like me. I don't know. You've never acted the way he's been acting. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you. Uh, who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive, which is more than I can say for some of us. Magnus. For a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend. He knew the risks, and still he let me take his armor. He was so brave. He was also incredibly stupid, but still, so brave. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? All we managed to do is make things worse. The command block is still out there, Soren. Blast! And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket. I recognize it. Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? You realize there's a strong chance that Gabriel is totally confused? But what if he's not? Listen, if my friends are alive, I've got to go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Look, Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. I wish I could say the same for everyone else. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. 
I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. You're right, they do need you. And the best way to help them is to help us beat that monster. That sounds right, but it just doesn't feel right, Jesse. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man. If it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, that all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. There's no way you could have known what would happen. No one's ever seen anything like this. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Petra, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend. She's a member of the Order of the Stone. The Order of the what now? The Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled. Hmm. And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but... Are you kidding me? You're both in the Order. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I've told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon. Scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Um, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel! You slayed it! Oh. 
Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. You can thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is... Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. 